Scan complete. Go ahead and land. safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals. And while I've never needed them, I've never... Yes, by all means, have a... Be careful out there. Not your own business. Just shopping. Now listen, I, I have a lot of... You don't look like a new hire. Really? Huh. You have your own... Oh, this is... I have a business proposition. <laughs> you are just the person. Well, confession time. See, the world of credit analysis, you know, dealing with deadbeat. What I need is a ring. What I need is... Gal Bank, your money is always safe. Always.
Got a call someone's power kept going up. You know what it was? It's a privilege to be- Welcome to UC Distribution. Well, well, sir. Back to it, then. Wen really keeps the distribution center in tip-top shape. Take it easy. He's quite something, our Bobby, isn't he?
history. Hey, we're back. Look at this. There was just what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Talk to you later. I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for it. I have to say, I'm impressed. You've adjusted to this whole endeavor better than I would have expected. Not that that's any sort of assumption about you, of course. There's just... Well, this is a lot to take in. We probably should have spoken before now, but I didn't want to get in the way. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten where...
year. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy!
You can feel the age in history here. I'd hate to live my whole life in a bubble. We still haven't really came far. Places older than Aquila. There's old stories, old planet. You got the look of a miner about you. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. takes all types, young upstarts, former military, ex-cons. If you can lift a tool and haul ore, you can mine.
mining here for centuries. And still going strong. This life ain't easy, but it pays the bills. Still pulling up huge deposits We got lots of stuff. Just yo, hey, I'm Manaki. Cool. That's what we Sounds like a plan.
Yo, stay good out there. How's it going? Can I help you? Yeah, let's get you hooked up. Come back anytime. Trade Authority. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Ask me if you need anything. I'm here to help.
don't they? Do you think he would have liked you? Looks like they're packing up their toys and going home. No fun. Well, you're back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Who knows with pirates? Revenge, peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. It's not like we were eager to stick around, but we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Suicide. <laughs> nah. The guy's seriously tougher than he looks. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. So, you actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Sure. I don't mind taking orders from a former employee. It can't be worse than working for Barrett. <laughs> if you give me an outpost to run, I'll have it optimized for rapid material production in no time. I can make myself useful in other ways, too. I'm a good hand with explosives, and you'll never hear me complain about carrying a heavy pack. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
Captain, greetings. Captain, do you require my assistance? I will await your next order here. The core has already finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it.
predators here that breathe this junk. So eyes open. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Nah. Nah. I'll, I'll be alright. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. You sure about that? A med kit might do wonders for you. Alright, your choice. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns.
Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <laughs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. <laughs> I mean... I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then, he did the little finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said... It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> ...space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Get a moment. Can we talk? So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? say it's a real time as a way of just building up but if you ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days there's books about him lots of them all right a couple of high notes he was one of the first solo jump out of soul system all him so I am. Yeah, they're, uh, I felt like every little thing I did. Now I just hope I... Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. From my father, Cora. Imagine being the first person. And now... might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today?
got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. <laughs>